So you just finished your first rotation. Tell us a little bit about that. So my first rotation was in radiation oncology at UHN. Um, I started at the beginning of September and it was my first um, rotation. I started in an elective. Uh, so essentially um, there are three different divisions of oncology practice. You can go into radiation oncology, uh, medical oncology, which deals more with chemotherapy and immunotherapy, different types of systemic um, therapies, and then surgical oncology. So uh, we were dealing with uh, radiation oncology for the month. Um, the great thing about it was I got a lot of exposure to different um, groups uh, throughout the month. So I could spend the morning in breast clinic, afternoon with GU, the next morning in the skin clinic. So I got a lot of exposure to the different types of cancer, different uh, physicians. and So what made you choose radiation oncology at Princess Margaret as an elective? So it was um, Maitri Patel, she's who I organized my placement through. Um, I saw at the interview that she did with Ann Dang um, at the end of last year, early this year, and I'd heard about radiation oncology through some people I know in medicine who are thinking about pursuing that for their residency. Uh, so knowing that there was a PA in the field, I did my uh, longitudinal placement uh, in the middle of first year and just had a really good experience. There's really good teaching. Um, everyone was just really welcoming while I was there and I just thought it'd be a really good learning experience for my first rotations. What challenges did you experience starting with an elective as opposed to most other PE students who start with a core rotation such as family medicine or ER? I think the hardest part of starting with an elective was knowing I was going into something that I could potentially be interested in pursuing as a career later on. So I had high expectations of myself, um, wanting to make a good impression for uh, the different physicians and PAs and other healthcare um, practitioners that I'd be working with throughout the month. So I kind of had to go from having these high expectations and worrying about not making um, as good an impression as I would have if I was doing it as my last rotation um, and focus more on making an improvement throughout the four weeks. Um, just going from kind of not having any experience seeing patients to being able to go in, take a history, a case present, and dictate, and see kind of new patients a little more independently throughout the month. So it was more of my mindset that I had to get past for the first, for the first month. What were your learning objectives prior to your first clinical placement? So some of the more basic learning objectives were um, gaining a good amount of experience taking histories, doing physical exams, um, learning kind of what the important questions are and what sort of things you can leave out of a patient interaction, being able to dictate and um, navigate the EMR was a big part of what I wanted to learn. Um, so all those base skills that I know I'll take into the rest of my placements, uh, that was a big objective for me. Then also specific to radiation oncology, I wanted to learn about tumor staging, how the radiation oncologists work with medical oncologists and surgical oncologists, and how that sort of interaction plays out in practice. Um, those were some of the main objectives I had. I also, a big one, was wanting to learn how to read imaging. Um, that's something I got a lot of exposure to in this placement. What kind of imaging exposure did you get? So mainly uh, CTs, PET scans, some MRIs um, were the big ones, learning how to differentiate blood vessels in a scan from uh, tumors or nodules when you're looking at um, the basic anatomy of scans. Um, in terms of a PET scan, trying to figure out where um, the common sites of uptake were and differentiating that from an actual um, metastatic nodule. Overall, would you say you met your goals? Yeah, I'd say I met all the goals that I had set out. Um, when it comes to history and physicals and case presentations, that was something I was getting a lot of experience doing, particularly with new patients. Um, because in first year, uh, you tend to, if you go to a longitudinal placement, you'll see a lot of follow-up patients because you're new to patient interaction. Um, so throughout this placement, I saw a lot of new patients uh, was able to spend time looking at their histories and uh, doing a full comprehensive look at kind of the story of their diagnosis and what brought them into clinic and things like that. So I feel like I definitely developed um, skills in that area. Um, and then also being able to participate in rounds um, was something that gave me good exposure to learning how the different oncology specialties work together to come up with a comprehensive treatment plan. 
Um, specifically last week, uh, during one of the GU clinics, there was a patient who was referred to one of the radiation oncology physicians um, for radiation treatment. Uh, and it was kind of a complicated case. They weren't exactly sure how to approach the treatment plan. So they let me present the case at tumor boards this afternoon. Um, and there was talk between the surgeons, between the radiologists who read the scans, between the radiation oncologists, medical oncologists, um, to kind of come up with what the next step in the treatment plan should be. So um, I got good exposure to um, kind of the interdisciplinary teamwork that happens, especially at a place um, uh, like UHN that has really good um, experience for learners overall. Did you have a personal learning project during your rotation? Yes, I did. So um, a couple weeks before starting my placement, I reached out to Maitri to ask if there was anything I could do on the side just to enhance my learning experience, um, since oncology is something I'm really interested in doing uh, and something I've thought of doing outside of clinical practice uh, in research. Um, I thought if there was anything I could do that could give me exposure to the non-clinical side, I, uh, it would be something I'd be interested in. So I ended up starting a project um, uh, that Maitri kind of discussed with one of her supervisors. Um, so basically what that entailed was for all the different site groups, so breast, lymphoma, GU, um, there are history and physical templates um, that are meant for residents or different learners going through um, new consults with patients in those clinics. It has some of the pertinent information that you want to include in a history all on one sheet of paper. Uh, which is really helpful, especially for me, where I was coming into it not knowing what the important parts um, of an exam was for all the different site groups. So my role in these templates was to kind of use them, see where um, I saw improvements could be made or things that were missing or things that could be changed, um, so that when residents and fellows come through uh, the program, they're able to use them and it kind of allows you to um, put all the details from a patient's history uh, together on one sheet so you can present it to the physician easily and dictate it really quickly. It kind of improves the workflow that way. And what were your steps um, in the process in development of a standardized history and physical template for different site cancer site groups? So my main process um, was actually using the templates that were already pre-existing um, for the first two or so weeks and I would note if I took a history and um, there were certain aspects that were missing from that sheet that seemed to be important or something that the physician wanted to know um, and then I would modify the templates as needed until um, felt like it was comprehensive. And how has this PLP helped your personal growth? I think it's just helped one with time management um, on top of full-time uh, placement, learning how to kind of set aside time to do um, a separate project on the side. I think it's good that I started out doing that so that for my next placements I um, am able to time manage when it comes to finishing work and having the energy to study on the side or maybe doing other projects in the future in my other rotations. I think that was one of the ways it benefited me. Um, and I think it just helped me learn about oncology, um, going through those templates and looking up um, kind of what the pertinent uh, details are for different types of cancer was kind of a way to solidify some of the things I learned in placement. So just to wrap things up, what did you enjoy most about this rotation? I think the thing that I liked most about being in my rotation at UHN was the people and the learning experience, which I know I've mentioned a couple times, but I just really appreciated the fact that any time I went in and saw a patient, um, the physician would let me ask any questions I had after the case was over. They'd sit down and explain to me the reason they've decided to go with a certain treatment or the reason they're deciding to just wait, watchful waiting and follow up. Um, just the learning experience was really good. I feel like. Um, I was nervous about coming into a really specialized field without a lot of background in um, some of the more basic areas um, of medicine that I could have started in, or possibly less complex. Um, but I just feel like I got a really good foundation of knowledge because the UHN is a really great place to learn. Hi, I'm Maitri and I'm a radiation
vocational oncology physician assistant. Um, I'm a McMaster physician assistant program graduate from class of 2014. With most of the students, I try to ensure that they present directly to the staff physician because in real life, that's what a PE would do.